Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the autumn and fall trends that you need to know about. I've been so excited about all the beautiful new clothing and accessories that have been coming into stores. And in today's video, I'm going to be rounding up my favorite trends for the coming season. As per usual with my trends videos, this isn't intended to be a comprehensive list of every trend out there. Rather, this is my pick of my favorite trends, the ones which I think are the most wearable and flattering, and the ones that I've added to my wardrobe for the coming season. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So the first trend that I wanted to include was animal print. Animal print has been around for a few seasons now, it seems to be increasingly popular, and previously it's really focused mainly around leopard print it seems, but for this season we're seeing more different types of animal print. So in particular, zebra print and tiger print have been really, really big. I found this beautiful skirt from Nest Forza, I thought it was so, so beautiful. I do love a pleated midi skirt anyway, and particularly ones that aren't so stiff and heavy, and I I love the fit and the cut of this whilst also incorporating that animal print trend. It's very simple, black and white, so it is nice and wearable, easy to pair with a whole bunch of different colors, a beautiful amount of movement with it as well. It is so, so stunning, very comfortable to wear because it has an elasticated waistband and it does just hit that trend perfectly, I think. So I love this. I also got a mini skirt version as well when I wanted something just a little bit shorter. This is also incorporating the trend with the tiger print. I have seen a few different variations of this, but I thought this one was really beautiful because even though it is a mini skirt, it does have a thicker fabric, so it does make it more appropriate for the colder months. And I think this looks super, super cute, not just with pumps, but also over the knee boots as well. So I love the versatility of it. You know, you can wear it now when it's still a little bit warmer, but if you kind of lay it appropriately, you should still be able to wear it in the colder months as well. This one was a more affordable one and I thought it looked much more expensive than it was because of the thicker fabric. It fits really nicely and again, even though it does have that bolder animal print, because of the fairly neutral black and camel colorway, it just seems like more of a classic piece as well. So I love this, I love the trend in general, I think it's so fun and whilst I wouldn't necessarily wear animal print head to toe, I think if you're focusing in around one piece, something that's very wearable like a skirt can be a really, really fun trend to incorporate into your wardrobe. And if you wanted to go a little bit more traditional with your animal print, I also found this beautiful leopard print skirt which I thought was so stunning. I love the colorway of this as well because even though leopard print is a quite common pattern in print, not all all leopard prints are created equal, I feel. Some are quite bright and can be very overwhelming, whereas I love the fact this was a little bit more muted as well, so it just makes it that little bit more wearable for every day. You know, you can just pair this with a simple white t-shirt, you know, a black sweater if you wanted to. I don't think it would be too loud, whereas if you have a very bright kind of orange, then it does just look a bit too much in some situations, so I love the fact that this is a little bit more neutral, has a beautiful fit to it as well, very, very easy to wear, which again, not all bias skirts are and I thought this was lovely so if you're not quite ready to venture into other animal prints and want to stick with leopard this is a really lovely choice. Next up are bias cut skirts and again this trend has been around in the summer as well but I'm seeing more and more of them come into stores and particularly because a lot of them are made of more silky fabrics and with the coming colder months also comes the festive season and it is a fancier piece. You can dress it up or down but it does feel particularly appropriate for the festive season so I did want to include it and I found this absolutely beautiful skirt which I am so so in love with. It does need a little bit of an iron so I will do that before I try on but I thought this was perfect because it hits a few different trends you know it has those beautiful rich autumn tones which are just so so lovely but it also has that silky fabric it is the bias cut skirt a nice midi length and it just seems to tick quite a few boxes so I thought this was stunning the color is absolutely beautiful it's this lovely kind of claret red really stunning it has a beautiful amount of shimmer it's very soft and silky as well and out of all the bias cut skirts i found this has been the most flattering cut they're not always that easy to get right because they can cling and show a lot of lumps and bumps whereas this skims in a very very nice way so 
I thought this was absolutely beautiful and I'm so in love with the color and it is very autumn appropriate but because it is that beautiful shade of red it will see you very easily through to the Christmas and festive months as well. So I love this and thought it was just a very beautiful and versatile piece for the colder months. If you wanted something a little bit more neutral though and not quite so shiny for day to day I thought this one was a really lovely option which I found. I can never have enough black skirts because they are just so easy to wear you know you don't have to think too much about what you're going to pair it with. It's a nice one to go from a day to evening as well. If you're grabbing drinks just after work this transitions really easily. I thought this was beautiful but I also think this would be very appropriate for a nice date night as well so I love versatile pieces and this one also has a beautiful cut as well. Just a nice midi length it has a nice weight to it as well. A nice amount of flow but it's not overly shiny so again it isn't only for those fancier occasions. And I thought this was really, really lovely. And again, a flattering fit, which is so, so important when it comes to bias cut skirts. So I love this, a little bit more versatile than the red one and just a really nice wardrobe staple. My next trend is texture and I love this one because it's mainly relating to accessories and I obviously love my accessories, especially when it comes to the colder months, you know, we see a lot of suede and velvets and those beautiful richer textures. I do think that velvet is still going to be a pretty big trend when it comes to bags and accessories, but we're also seeing a lot of mock rock. And again, this is one that's been around for the whole year, but particularly when it comes to autumn winter, I am just seeing it everywhere. So many brands are doing their mock rock prints and styles and I love them. I think it's so beautiful. I actually got this pouch last year and I have been using it consistently throughout the year but it is definitely a bit more suited to the colder months so I'm excited to get even more use out of it for the upcoming months. This is just from Saint Laurent. It has a beautiful mock croc texture. It has this really lovely finish and it does actually fit a decent amount. It is a little wristlet and it just opens up like so. And obviously this is a little bit more on the pricey side, but you can find mock croc pouches and bags absolutely everywhere. I went into Topshop the other day and they had a ton of styles as well. So by all means, if you didn't want to invest in a designer piece, there are a lot of high street options out there as well. But I love this one because I think it's such a nice way to update your accessories while still being very, very classic and looking forward as well. And of course, another really popular material around this time of year is suede. I have a ton of suede boots. It's the number one material that my boots are made out of. I love it. But it's also great for pumps as well, particularly when we're transitioning into the colder months. You know, it's still pretty warm outside. So this is a really nice way to add texture to your wardrobe and your outfits now. I found this pair from Nordstrom and you may recognize these because they are very similar to another pair that I have, which I have worn to death over the past couple of years. I mean, keeping my eye them because I wanted a replacement pair because I have worn them so much so they are looking a little bit worse for wear now but I saw that they actually released an updated style and I love this I love the new look and these ones do actually have a cutout on the side and that's the update to this design they still do have the pointed toe and the block heel so they are very very comfortable but you do just have that slightly different shape so I thought these were beautiful. They are just as comfortable as the other ones I own and I cannot get enough of this style. So I was super excited to see these in a slightly updated design. No doubt I will get just as much use out of these, but these really are the perfect go anywhere heels. You know, I love the fact they do have that suede texture, but they're also so practical. The block heel, you know, very comfortable so you can walk all day. And these genuinely go with everything. You can pair them with skirts, with dresses, with jeans. They really are a go anywhere shoe and I just love it to bits. My next trend is check skirts, particularly in the mini skirt variety. I love this trend, so I had to add two to my wardrobe. I was a huge fan of Clueless growing up, and this very much reminds me of all the amazing fashion in Clueless. The two that I have are right here, so they're pretty similar. They're both in that same kind of colorway. This one is a smaller, more houndstooth check, and then this one is a larger plaid check. Both have that beautiful kind of thicker fabric, so again, very nice for transitioning. Wearing it with pumps when it's still a bit warmer, but then going into over the knee boots when it does get a bit colder. And just teaming this with a simple kind of black or camel sweater. Really easy to pair, and it has that beautiful kind of autumn palette as well. Really lovely. They are mini skirts, but they're not overly short either. So again, better for the colder months. I thought these were adorable and I've just been seeing these absolutely everywhere. So checked patterns are always very in for colder months on everything from blazers to coats to skirts. But I thought particularly in the mini skirt format, I thought they were very cute, very fun and a complete throwback to my clueless days. 
My next trend are beautiful rich jewel tones and this is probably my favourite part of dressing for the colder months. It's all the beautiful new colours we get with the new season and there's so much to choose from within this category. You know there are so many beautiful green tones and camel tones but for me my favourite is burgundy and this is a colour that appears year after year but it still looks very current and very on trend but because it still is fairly classic you'll be able to get so much mileage out of it as well. And one of my favourite pieces that I got was this beautiful knit dress and this is so perfect for the colder months because it is a heavier fabric so it's very winter appropriate but at the same time this doesn't feel like you're losing your shape in it which can sometimes be the case with a lot of knit dresses. It does have that beautiful burgundy colour as well. It's very fitted in the lower half but then on the top you do have that really slouchy look as well. I do feel like this is conservative enough to work for most work environments but because it is a little bit more fashion forward I think it transitions really nicely into even evening as well and you can even just wear this as a standalone dinner date look also. I adore this, you do have the option of cinching it in with a belt if you wanted a little bit more definition but otherwise I think the dress just speaks for itself, you know you don't need too many accessories with this because it is such a beautiful piece and I thought this was so lovely. So this is the piece I'm probably most excited about. It did come in black as well, but I loved this burgundy color and I thought it was just such a lovely one for the coming months. Another piece I got was this lovely sweater, again, in that beautiful kind of wine tone. And on the front, it looks just very, very simple, like a very simple thin knit sweater. But then when you look at the back, it has that lovely bow detail. I thought this was so, so sweet. And because it is a little bit more simple on the front, this is the easiest thing to team with or manner of skirts, you know, a pencil skirt, mini skirt, midi skirt, like it's going to work with everything, but you do have that added bit of interest at the back as well. So I love this. And then within that same kind of family is this beautiful skirt. And this one has a little bit more pink to it but because it still has those beautiful tones. It really still works as part of an awesome color palette, I think. And even together, I think that's a beautiful color palette. Just so, so lovely. This is a bias cut skirt as well. So very in keeping with the trend. It does flare out slightly at the bottom and then it is fully lined as well. So it has a beautiful amount of swish to it. It's really lovely and soft as well. The fabric is beautifully silky. But again, this is a more flattering cut because it does just flow rather than stick to every lump and bump. So I love this and it's a little bit more unexpected with all the darker tones. You know, it is a little bit more bright, but still very, very seasonally appropriate. And for my very last trend, I have oversized pieces. And I do think this is more of a love it or hate it one. It isn't for everyone. And even though I do like the trend, I don't like everything within this trend. Some of the very, very oversized pieces I find very difficult to wear and not very flattering. So I tend to stay away from the more extreme versions of this. But I do still think there's a way to incorporate the trend in a way that's still very flattering and wearable on a day-to-day -day basis. So my favorite way of actually doing this is by reaching for pieces which they may be oversized but they're also a little bit lighter in color because often when you do get an oversized piece if it's very dark it can feel very very overwhelming so if you have a massive black sweater it can just feel like you'll get lost in it which is why I like to have my oversized pieces in lighter colors so a good example of that is this beautiful pink sweater it's such a lovely shade you know a very very girly shade of pink it does have little hole detail all the way through as well so you do have to wear something underneath it but I thought this was very very sweet and charming and just a really nice one to pair with a pair of faux leather leggings or a faux leather skirt jeans anything like that I always like to keep my proportions on the bottom very very slim if I am going for something more oversized on the top just because I do think it balances it out a little bit more but I thought this was such a nice way to wear the trend. It does have that more kind of oversized look so there is a lot of volume in the body and in the sleeves but at the same time it's not too much. And similarly I also got my coat in a lighter colour as well. If you watch my haul video then you will recognise this. I did speak about this then. I was exchanging it for a smaller size and this is the one I got and I'm very happy Happy with the fit and that's actually a really good tip if you do want to try out the oversized trend but again you don't want it to overwhelm your frame just try and size down in coats and sweaters in particular because you still do get the oversized cut and finish but you will get a slightly smaller fit so that it's not going to completely overwhelm you so I always try and do that and I'm very happy with the fit of this I think it's lovely and I love the color and I do think it brightens up any look as well so I always try and go for lighter colors 
videos and I thought these two were really really lovely examples. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave links to everything I featured in the description section below but if you do have any questions for me then leave me a comment. If you like these trends videos please do give this a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! <laughs>